here we've got Kentucky Pride Crimson Clover. Like the Balanza and Bersim, it's a nitrogen-fixing clover. It's easily distinguishable because the leaves are somewhat rounded in shape, and they've got really fine hairs on the top of it. Uh, the fine hairs, some think, that make it a little bit less palatable for livestock than, say, the uh, Balanza clover. Uh, this is a variety that Grassland Oregon licensed from the University of Kentucky that was uh, bred by Dr. Taylor. Uh, Dr. Taylor has been real instrumental in helping us and educating us from a clover breeding standpoint. Uh, so we we're pretty honored to get this variety. The Dr. Taylor worked really hard to improve the cold tolerance of Kentucky Pride Crimson Clover. And we find that the Kentucky Pride hangs in there in the winter much better than say Dixie or Common VNS Crimson Clover. The other thing we've learned kind of anecdotally that we've seen in trials and across fields it also tolerates moist soils better than, than the uh, Dixie Crimson. So Kentucky Pride has a little bit better uh, tolerance for soil moisture. Crude protein wise, it, it's not bad. It's not as high as the Balanza, um, but it's right in there at the burst seam. It's got a tap root to it, similar, not as nearly as long and aggressive as the Balanza or the burst seam. But uh, here we got a great example of the nodulation you can see. Uh, these nodules form on the roots of clovers. And this is where the magic occurs. This is where they get their, uh, the, the nitrogen. They, they take atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into something that the plant can use. Uh, they don't leak much nitrogen. A lot of people think clovers leak nitrogen. They really don't. Uh, how clovers get the nitrogen to the other products is either by the decaying tissue or having it cycled through an animal. So that's really where you're gonna get the bulk of your nitrogen. Uh, pretty neat that we've got to see that kind of a uh, nodulation on this little tiny plant here already. So you, as you can imagine, they can produce quite a bit of nitrogen. So clovers definitely make sense. The Kentucky Pride was bred by uh, Dr. Taylor at uh, University of Kentucky that we, we licensed. Uh, Dr. Taylor, when he was alive, was a great help to me and taught me an awful lot. Uh, so we we're really excited about getting this variety. This crimson clover he bred has a lot better cold tolerance than typical crimson clovers. So if you've had struggles with crimson clovers and you want it, you might take a look at Kentucky Pride. It's got a lot better cold tolerance and we're finding it also does a lot better on saturated soils than say the, the old standard Dixie or VNS crimson clover which a lot of times is sold as Dixie. So this is something you get guaranteed performance, uh, consistent performance, uh, more cold tolerance. Overall, it's just a great product.